disrespecting somebody else. What's this? Sean's back again making videos? <gasps> what could have done this? Alright guys, so because we're stuck in quarantine, I wasn't feeling like I was being productive enough. Like, yes, I've been spamming you guys constantly with TikTok videos. That being said, though, um, I thought now would be a good time to start putting out Let's Plays again. You know, just because I'm not really doing much other than playing video games anyways. So, to start it all off, I went with The Division 2. but then quickly realize that a game about civilization being torn apart because of a global pandemic might not be the best choice. So we went with this instead. Between president and CEO, Journey to the Savage Planet is not the game I expected to play when I first opened it up. I expected it to be more of a Minecraft meets No Man's Sky experience, when in actuality it did have some light, and I emphasize light, crafting elements, but mostly it was just a first person adventure game. You see, the whole thing is that you crash land on a planet that you're supposed to be exploring. And so there are some scanning um, to take in wildlife and whatnot, but the main game loop is pretty easy to follow. You'll find different stuff along the way and scan it, like creatures here. Then you'll find an object that you can't get past uh, simply by whacking it or using whatever tools you have at your availability. You'll collect materials in order to build the right tools that you need. And then you'll go to a crafting station and build the new blueprints. Then you'll go back and clear through whatever obstacle was in your way. Explore a little bit, fight some enemies along the way, open up the teleporter that takes you back to your home base which it's kind of got like a Stargate feel to it. It's pretty cool, actually. Oh, also, you'll be looking for this orange stuff, which basically, like, gives you a little bit more health and some more stamina for your sprints. Explore around in the very diverse areas. Find more creatures, which all have different ways of, uh, being taken care of. All the enemies you encounter are basically a puzzle that you have to figure out how to use the gear that you have crafted or found lying around on how to beat them. I mean, there's even a boss battle at the end of the area. And that's pretty much it for now. Um, thank you guys for watching along. I hope to make more of these videos in the near future. Um, otherwise, man, uh, come hit me up on Instagram. Not so smart, same as here. Um, 
and uh, follow me on Twitch to find out when I'm recording live. I'd love to have you guys in the chat. It uh, gets a little lonely playing by myself. <laughs> Alright guys, see you guys next time. <laughs>